Listen up. This just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Dr. Dre's 38-year daughter, 38-year-old daughter Latanya Young is homeless and living out of her car. She talked to the Daily Mail. She said she's living out of her car working as a delivery driver for DoorDash and Uber Eats. That's how she makes money. She said, "I have friends and family that will let us come back and forth, but the majority of the time I'm living out of my car." She said she has not seen her father in 18 years, and she also has repeatedly asked for financial help. She did say that he's helped her in the past. He paid her rent, gave her an allowance, but all of that that ended last year in January. Uh, she actually is the daughter of his ex, Lisa Johnson. They split when she was five years old, and she's a single mother of four now. She said, my kids are staying with friends. They are not living in the car. It's just me. I'm taking odd jobs just to make it. Now I get paid $15 an hour as an assembler at the warehouse. I'm trying to keep my head above water. I've been in debt for a while. And she's also nervous that she's going to lose her rental car because she hasn't been able to make payments. She said, it's an SUV. It costs $2,300 for three weeks, and I only paid for one week. She said, sooner or later, they're going to take the car. Uh, she also said, as you know, that um, he has helped her previously, but he told us he won't do anything anymore. I'm out on the streets. I asked him for help. I haven't got a response back from his lawyer. I'm hearing about mistresses that he's bought houses for. It's a messy situation. Yeah, I mean, obviously him and his daughter's relationship is strained and uh, he's helped her in the past. So it's not a problem with help. He's probably maybe he's at his, his wits end. Like, you know what? I've done so much for you. You had to figure it out on your own. Uh, me having three daughters and, and a baby girl on the way, I'm going to have four. I can't see myself doing that, but I'm not in his position or his his shoes. So I don't know how their relationship is, but I mean, he's probably at wit's end. Like, you know what? I, I've helped you for so long. You got to help yourself now. Right. She's 38 with four kids. I'm sure if anybody has kids out there and you help them, I don't know what happened. You yeah, that's know, the thing. And, and she says she happened. hasn't seen them in 18 years but we either. Don't, but we don't know what happened. I mean, there's a lot of situations where sometimes parents say, you know what, you got to figure it out on your own. And sometimes kids are able to do it. We don't know that situation. Would I be able and to do that? And he did help her up until last year. Would I be able to do that to Madison or London or Brooklyn? No. It's just, I, I, I no. Mm -mm, not, not with my babies. All right, now Eminem and Sony Music are part of a $30 million investment into an NFT startup. It's called Maker's Place, and it's an uh, NFT token market for buying and selling digital artwork and other creations. Have you gotten involved in these NFTs yet? I have not. Have you? Mm -hmm. um, not really. I've been, you know, learning about it. I, I know a little bit about it, but it's hard to, to tell whose NFTs are going to make money and who whose aren't. Yeah, you know I, what I mean. It's I like a whole system, and you have to make sure you do it through the right company. Correct, and you have to make sure the audience is there if you're going to sell an NFT. I'm not. I'm not necessarily sold on it as a yet. I, I understand, and I see people are making a lot of money, but it's just weird to say the first tweet somebody paid, you know, a couple hundred thousand for. It just seems weird when I could just screenshot that tweet and I could have it too. What's the original tweet? Like it, it just it just seems strange to me, but. <laughs> Well, Eminem four months ago launched uh, ShadyCon. It's a digital festival that gave fans the opportunity to own a Shady-approved NFT collectible. And his collection pulled in about $1.78 million on the first weekend. One of those items was a video called Stan's Revenge. It included a pair of Eminem's exclusive Carhartt Air Jordan trainer collaboration, which sold for $100,000. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm just not sold. Same thing with, with, with certain Bitcoin and things like that. It seems like anybody could create a Bitcoin and say it's worth whatever. I mean, there's... Like 30,000 different Bitcoins. Like, you know, it's, it's uh, I don't know. It's not my forte. All right. Now, Aaron Carter, uh, you know, Aaron Carter recently fought Lamar Odom, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yep. now he is going fully nude in the Vegas musical review Naked Boy Singing. So he's going to be joining that production. It's a 60-minute gay music review in which all the male cast perform naked. He said, I think the naked body is a beautiful thing. We were all born naked. I love doing OnlyFans. I've been an OnlyFans model for over a year now, and people are very uplifting. They make yourself. I love that social media platform more than any other platform. It's not about the money. It's about the fans. No, I'm sure so it's about the money. So that starts September 8th if you want to go see him at the Jewel Box. I'm there. sure it's about the money. Um, Yeah. Uh, would you do that? Would you Would you perform naked? I, nah. Envy. Shut up. What's wrong with I'm you? I'm just saying, like, would you would you get to, like, you know. Did, do you think I would do that in your head? Would you be like, Angela probably would do something like that. Nah, but if times got okay, rough, so and, and, and it, it, would you. you ever think about, you know what I mean? Like, hey, why not? I'm just going to perform naked and just let it hang. 
No? And yeah, I'm assuming this means you would. All right. Now, the weekend's new music video Thought has been it. pulled, and that is because of seizure concerns. And uh, it's his upcoming single, Take My Breath. And they said there were excessive blinding lights. So they pulled it ahead of its release in IMAX theaters for the premiere of The Suicide Squad. The clip in question featured intense strobe lighting. And they're saying that's what could trigger seizures. That is wild. I know. Can you imagine you're watching a video and you have a seizure? How do you, how do All you right, test so the for video's that, not gone for good, but it still is going to drop sometime after he puts out the song on Friday tomorrow. This, this somebody watched that and was like, this is too many lights. This might cause seizures. We got we to gotta cancel this video. Like, how, how did they, they... That's not the first time we've heard of something like this happening, though. Mm. Mm. All right, now, Bill Gates says that his dinners with Jeffrey Epstein were a huge mistake, amongst other things. He did an interview with Anderson Cooper on CNN yesterday, and he was asked about his ex-wife and, you know, how things have been for him since they've gotten divorced and here's what bill gates has to say about how he's doing post-divorce how are you doing definitely a very sad milestone you know melinda's a great person and that partnership that we had coming to an end is a, a source of, of great personal sadness uh, we are communicating and working at the foundation and so that partnership we're going to try and continue in addition, he asked him about Jeffrey Epstein and his relationship with him. You know, they had these dinners and they were meeting. And here's what he had to say. Can you explain your relationship with Epstein? Did you have any concerns? Uh, was there ever any concerns you had about it? You know, I had several dinners with him, you know, hoping that what he said about getting billions of philanthropy for global health through contacts that he had might emerge. You know, when it looked like that wasn't a real thing, that relationship ended, but it was a huge mistake to spend time with him. Right. He also talked about the six women at Microsoft that said he had a history of making sexual advances at employees during his marriage even. And so if you want to watch that full interview, that was on CNN, uh, Anderson Cooper. Now, didn't Bill Gates was the one that had the side chick that, you know, his wife allowed him to ch hang with the side chick like a couple of weekends a year or something like that, allegedly? Allegedly, yes. Mm. Okay. But we don't know. Okay. <laughs> and that is your rumor report. Sounds like he was out there. All right. Now, up next, front page news, what are we talking about? Uh, we are going to be talking about Joe Biden. He's discussing Florida and Texas and, and his message to those governors about how they're not allowing people to enforce these mask mandates. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning.